This video is about fixing a broken out DIN jack of a BioCord 9000 with 3D printed inserts. For more information, please visit my blog at biolover.blogspot.com or go to my website at www.biolover.com. Last year I made a video about a BioMaster 8000 where the phono jack was broken out. It turns out that the same problem occurs also with the BioCord 9000. Here you see it, so the plastic tabs that hold this jack on top of the cutout here, they break off and then the jack sinks into the enclosure when one tries to put in a plug. And so I fixed that last year with 3D printed inserts that recreate these tabs here and that worked very nicely on the BioMaster 8000. Now this video I will show you how to use these tabs for fixing this uh, jack of a BioCord 9000. The first step is to take out the drive mechanism. You see it here. The uh, DIN 7 jack is right underneath here and the first step to fix it is to push it back out of the enclosure and so we need to take out the drive. Now luckily this is very simple. There are only three screws, these two and this one down here. So let's see how this is going. So I'm just taking those out. It's good to make some marks here that you get the drive into the exact same position where it was before. This is crucial because you want that this eject tab here uh, really hits the, um, the uh, a bar with which you can activate it from the uh, front plate of the BioCord. So here comes the last screw and then it's good to put something soft, a towel or something on the um, PCBs and so then you can just flip the uh, drive over without having to unplug anything. Okay, here you see the jack and so what we need to do now is to push it back through the uh, uh, cutout in the enclosure. And so this jack is fighting this because of these plastic tabs that, that hold it behind here. And what we need to do now is to, with a, with a screwdriver, we need to push the tab in and then we try to uh, push it through. So let's see how this is going. So first you align it as good as you can and then with a screwdriver. And this can be a little bit difficult. This is quite a sort of a little bit on tricky operation. So here we go, now it's out. Okay, the next step is to put the 3D printed inserts in there. You see that they're printed, we can tell the layers. Now these parts, they fit snugly around the barrel of the uh, jack and these long parts here, they recreate the broken off tabs. Okay, here we go. So I put one on top here and I won't show you that, but of course there needs to go the second one on the other side of this jack. Okay, so the next step is to push the jack back in so that these tabs that hold it from the back side are back through again. And so this can cost a little bit of force, you will see now. I simply squeeze it as hard as I can pretty much. And here we go. Now you hear it clicks in and it makes a very solid uh, press fit. Okay, pretty much done. So the last thing is to put the drive back in. And of course here the point is to align it with those marks that the eject button works again. And here's a demonstration. You see nothing wiggles. It's pretty much like it used to be. Very solid. Now you know how to fix a broken out DIN jack of a BioCard 9000. If you're interested in these parts, they are available. Just send me an email. Thanks for watching.